Hello everybody, this is my sister's hair update and before we get started I want to let you guys know what I, I'm sorry, what she used in her hair prior to blow drying. Okay, and I'm going to show pictures as well. She used the Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo, which removes buildup, restores moisture, gently cleans and neutralizes. I'm sorry. And she used the Vatican Naturals A Protein Deep Conditioning Hair Mask for damage and split hair. I did a review on that. And for the leave-in, she used the Shea Moisture Jamaica Black Cast Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin for naturally, chemically processed, color-treated, or heat-styled hair. And going back to the Vatican Naturals A Protein Treatment, she used this because she will she has gotten a uh, protective style in her hair, which are the crochet braids. And she put a plastic cap on her head and left that on for a good 30 to 40 minutes. And that's basically it. And um, she went to the shops to get it done because she wasn't sure, you know, um, what I had to do that day. And also, I have not done crochet braids on my hair. I have not done it before ever. So I'm inexperienced. So, yeah, I will do them soon. But you guys know. And But anyway, but that's basically it. So that's what she basically used. And also, I used a oil to seal in everything after I was done I used jojoba oil because I didn't want to use a heavy oil because I knew she was getting a protective style and I didn't want her hair to be weighed down with um, too many products so that's basically it about that okay so let's get into the blow drying process now I'm doing her hair in sections of course because you want to make sure that you know um, you know especially her hair is very very thick and she is tender headed so you don't just want to take a whole big section and start you know blow drying her hair that's not what you do you got to take your time and be patient you know with it so that's basically about that so that's why i do it in sections and you know that's basically it. and it's a lot more easier because you're dealing with smaller sections not such a big section going all over the place okay just a little bit more organized if you will okay so that's basically about that and as you guys can see she has color in her hair and um, the color has grown out a lot very fast and um, some parts of her hair are loosely textured I believe that was um, prior to the color as well because um, she did you know do some straightening or prior to that but um, you know her hair to me is doing pretty good you know um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all you know um, but others may say other things or whatever like that you know people gonna say what they want to say but to me I think her hair is doing pretty good um, and that's basically it about that but yeah and um, she you know she's been natural for I believe a couple years I'm not sure I'll definitely put the logistics down in the description bar below so you guys can see and I'll definitely put her big chop video in the description bar below and um, let you guys know when she big chop and things of that nature so you guys can see because that's terrible because I kind of forgot <laughs> um, so I don't want to say it on the voiceover and then it's wrong and you know gotta you know annotate and all that stuff so yeah but that's basically it about that um but yeah so with the blow dry settings I did a high setting and I did a warm first okay and then after the warm I did a cool to seal everything in and what have you so that's basically it so I did that all throughout her hair you know and that's basically it and that's her hair um I try to encourage her to you know keep on with the natural you know doing her hair and things of that nature she said it's a lot of work you know her hair being thick and she's tender headed I can't say I understand because I'm not tender headed so um yeah I remember she was talking about getting a texturizer recently and I was like uh what nah you know that's family so I could you know I, you know it's what you know I could be a little you know like what you know like uh, you're not about to get that um mm -mm. you know um you know yeah y'all do what y'all do y'all want to do whatever what y'all do with y'all hair but you know that's my sister that's family um yeah got some you know some say so so yeah um but that's basically about that um but yeah so um but she hasn't talked about it recently um she likes to do her hair in protective styles um she likes to keep her hair out of the way she's very simple with her hair regimen or whatever she does with her hair she's very simple with it um she doesn't do as much as i do she's not into the product she's not a pj she's very 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 simple she washes her hair with what's whatever's by the sink um you know whatever's in her reach or she'll ask me if there's nothing over there um you know or in the shower what have you and of course she asks me questions you know if she have any questions about anything 
but she's very very simple and like i said before i definitely do encourage her to keep going you know with the natural because you know she says a lot of work um you know but I just tell her to keep going you know and she said that she was gonna start you know let me like you know blow dry hair and do stuff detangling stuff like that you know because it's too much for her you know not you know she just she just you know just need a little help so that's what i'm gonna do you know for her you know so it could be her journey could be a little bit more easier and as her hair gets longer i think it will i think she'll she'll be all right she'll be all right so um yeah that's basically it about that so i want to ramble on but just letting you guys know this is the update um i'm twisting her hair now as you guys see as um um, a couple of days after that's when she got the crochet braids in um you know this is just to keep the hair stretched and make it a little bit more manageable for the um the ladies that are doing her hair at the shop and you know like i mentioned before she's tender headed so they won't be you know so she won't be in there you know you know getting all <laughs> upset because her hair is getting pulled every which way so this is you know blow drying hair and keeping it stretched is going to make it more manageable for them to braid you know do the braid pattern for the crochet braids okay so that's basically it you guys so that's the update this is not a lymph check video or anything of the sort but you know just an update video i don't do frequent updates on my sister's hair but if you guys want to see more frequent updates please let me know and i definitely will and let me know if you want to see the tangling session I don't know maybe if I do a style styling session I don't know just let me know and I definitely will do it um that's basically it so thumbs up the video and um yeah if you have any questions comments, concerns please ask if you don't want to ask comments on the in inbox or yes remember kitty 970 and I'll be right back to you hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed and that's basically it have a blessed one peace